Welcome back. This is Rich again, back for an exclusive YouTube video blog. Tonight's YouTube video blog is about um, donation bins for charity and why many of them are disappearing throughout um, the United States. But first, these messages. Don't forget to listen to Crystal's Time Machine each and every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it. If you can't catch the show live, listen to the podcast exclusively on archive.org. Goes back to October 2015. Follow Crystal on Twitter at Crystal Amy John and Machine Crystal. Follow her on Instagram at Crystal Johnson. Follow her on Facebook, the official Crystal's Time Machine Facebook page, the official Crystal's Time Machine group page and game show fan page. And say hello to Broadway PT, the official sponsor of Crystal's Time Machine. If you say the promo code Crystal's Time Machine, two dollars off your meal. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Follow me on Twitter at Chewy7. Follow me on Instagram at Rich Saraso. Follow me on YouTube at Rich Saraso. One exclusive video a week. Okay. And now on to the feature presentation. Donation. Ben, there used to be lots and lots of donation bins throughout the United States, meaning that if they were in a um, outside in a convenience store parking lot or a school area or a daycare center, they would have a lot of donation bins to donate your old clothes, or old toys, or, you know, household items, or books, etc. But in recent years, many of these donation bins are being removed due to one, due to a couple of reasons. The first reason is a lot of people think a donation bin is a trash or recycling bin to throw out the trash or recycle stuff like cans, bottles, paper, etc. Don't know why people are using the um, donation bins as trash bins. They should throw trash um in their in the trash bins to get picked up for I mean the trash back um trash um days but maybe they uh look the they're like full to the rim and they probably some t- cities and towns charge extra for overflag or over over Overflow bags, and they have to throw it somewhere. Plus, you know, many dumps, dumpster areas where they have a big giant dumpster bin, they're locked. So they think a donation bin is a trash bin or a recycling bin, which is not the case. And the second reason why donation bins um, are disappearing is people are looting them, especially homeless people or just kids. They're just um, taking um, the books or the clothes um, for themselves, which that's technically stealing, in my humble opinion. And several of these charitable do Charitable organizations are noticing this, and they are removing the bins out of circulation, which uh, might be a good thing, in my humble opinion, because you want to donate stuff to uh, um, charity, which is books or clothes or household items you don't use anymore. You should schedule a pickup for a truck and they'll pick it up from your house 
or you want to donate stuff to like um, the humanitarian habitus, you could go to their restores throughout the country and they'll they'll take care of it from there. Or if they want to donate books or DVDs to like um, used bookstores or libraries, you donate it to them. And it's just very, very sad that donation bins are being taken away, but people abuse them by throwing on the trash and recycling. And I think they should have people who do that find them big time for, you know, using that for trash or recycling. And that's about it on that. Thank you for all your support. I'll be back again soon.